Today I've got my car on the channel and I'm going to be preparing it for the winter months by giving it a bit of a deeper clean than usual and also applying some more heavy duty protection to it. So starting off with the wheels, I first pre-wash them using Green Star APC at 5% and I also use that product in the arches. So these wheels are coated with the Garage Therapy Hades wheel coating which does really help to keep them clean so they really don't acquire that much dirt between washes. I then used the Garage Therapy Wheel Shampoo in the IK Foamer, so I added about 20ml of product to 500ml of water here. So I use this on the alloy faces, barrels and the tyres as well, as these have the Garage Therapy Tyre Serum on them, which means they stay pretty clean between washes as well and just need sort of a bit of a rinse down and a scrub with a mild cleaner to get them back up to standard so they can be dressed again. So I'm using a detail factory tyre brush here which has softer bristles compared to the inter-detailing tyre brush that I typically use as this is going to avoid sort of scrubbing the tyre serum away too much. Once I'd cleaned the wheels, I then gave the brake discs a quick spray with a 5% mix of Built Hamber Atomac, which stops them sort of turning orange throughout the wash process. There was a little bit of mud spattered onto the lower sections of the car after driving through some country lanes so I just pre-sprayed them with the Green Star APC again at 5% and then gave them a rinse down to blast that away before continuing with a full pre-wash of the car. So I'm using the Garage Therapy Decon Shampoo here which is a product that can be used in a multitude of ways so you can use it as a wheel cleaner if you want, an all purpose cleaner, pre-wash or a shampoo to kick off the decon process. Here I'm using it at a 1 in 10 dilution in the foam cannon to remove the light layer of traffic film that's on the car and also to help degrade some of the protection that's on there to make my life a little bit easier throughout the rest of the process. Once I'd rinsed down that decon shampoo, I then sprayed it all over the car again and continued with a contact wash. So this again is just going to help fight away any of that protection that's left on there, as I'm going to be applying a more heavy duty product, so I don't want anything to be left on the surface.
After the contact wash, I also did spray a 10% mixture of the Garage Therapy Decon shampoo again onto the car and then worked that in with a mitt, left it to dwell for a few minutes and rinsed it off. And then I repeated that process again to make sure that there just wasn't any protection left behind. I then continued with a chemical decon process using this Jana Gloss tar remover just to get rid of a couple really tiny spots that popped up behind the wheels. I also used the Mile Deep Iron Fallout Remover and there wasn't really much of a reaction here happening as there's very little contamination on this car. So these steps are in preparation to apply the Infinity Wax Synergy Light Coating. Now what you're not going to be seeing me do here is clay and polish the vehicle which might seem very strange considering that I'm applying a coating here. And this is because having read the website, it's not absolutely critical on every car to clay and polish it before applying this product. Now, don't get me wrong here, if the car has tons of swirls and scratches or has really rough paintwork, then claying and polishing, of course, is going to be recommended. You're not going to get the best finish or durability out of the products without doing those steps. However, if you are dealing with a car like mine that's washed every single week and the paintwork feels smooth, then you can potentially skip out those steps. So this is really useful for me on my own car as clean just wasn't necessary and would only serve to inflict some marring that would later need to be corrected. And also, given that I've already corrected the car in the past, there wasn't really any need to machine polish and remove defects here. I personally rather clay and polish my vehicle for a specific purpose to enhance the paintwork rather than just to apply protective products as I really do want to preserve the amount of clear coat that's on the car. So once I had thoroughly dried off the car using the blower and a microfiber towel, I went in with their preparation spray. So this is Synergy Prep, particularly as I was skipping out the clay and polish stage here, I thought that using their preparation spray was definitely going to be the best approach here. So I did go over the car a couple of times using the Synergy Prep spray and I sprayed a bit onto the panel and the cloth, spread it and then flipped it over and buffed it off until the residue flashed away. I then waited around 10 to 15 minutes after doing this process just to make sure everything had properly flashed away. It's a little bit of a sort of pedantic step but a one that I feel like is sometimes beneficial to do. So this is a sprayable ceramic coating so it's a little bit unique in terms of the application. You do around 10 sprays onto your applicator pad to begin with and then work in using a crosshatch pattern. You then wait around 30 seconds to five minutes, so I waited just a couple of minutes when I was applying it before buffing it off with a low pile microfiber towel. I also added a second layer of the product around sort of 15 minutes after applying the first one. So this is fine to do, you just have to apply any extra layers within an hour of applying that first layer. So this whole process was very straightforward. The coating presented no issues whatsoever and buffing off the residue was very easy. The second reason that I ordered this product is I thought it would be quite unique and maybe useful to a lot of viewers out there is that you don't have to worry about the cure time with this one because Infinity Wax have been kind of clever about this and basically formulated it so that it has a kind of sacrificial layer so the coating underneath is being protected so it's allowed to cure properly. So this sacrificial layer can be washed off after seven days of applying the coating and you shouldn't wash the car within that period but it's fine to get it wet and to drive it that's not an issue so the coating is designed to last for around 12 months so it's not a massive commitment to make like some other coatings out there i have also previously coated the glass trim headlights and even the exhaust tips on this car so it was only a matter of time before i wanted to try a ceramic coating on the paintwork and really see whether i like the experience of using one on my own car so I'm looking forward to showing you some durability updates on it, which I'll be doing primarily on my Instagram page. But I think if I can get close to the 12 month mark, given that I didn't clay or polish the car, I will be very impressed with it. And I think that it would remove some of the barriers to entry that ceramic coatings have and be quite a decent option for a lot of viewers out there. So 
So in terms of the finishing touches here, I just applied the detail bug tire and trim dressing to the wheel arches and also to the tires. And I really like the finish it left, particularly on the tires, as these Pilot Sport 5s aren't the easiest to dress and using a sprayable product does speed up the process. I didn't have to apply any products to the glass or the rest of the trim on the car as they are already coated, so just cleaning them does the trick. 